Working on a 2010 Jeep Wrangler heater core replacement. Uh, this is the, the shortcut way where you cut the intake and the outtake of the heater core uh, and you replace it with an aftermarket one. So we're going to start by taking apart the glove compartment, um, this part of the dash, uh, and then we'll get into the heater core. So first step is to remove the glove compartment. There's two little tabs here, push in. Glove compartment's out, pretty easy. You're gonna have a little tab on the bottom here. I'm gonna pull down on this, and that should pop right out. There we go, that's out. Then uh, we have the side area here. There's a little door that allows you to get into the 10 millimeter screws. Did I just break that? No, good. Okay. okay, so we have the glove compartment out, side panel out. There is one, two, three, four, four bolts we need to pull out. They're seven millimeter. I'm going to start with that. And then hopefully we'll pop this panel out. Okay, one more. Uh, where is it? One, two, three. It's over here. That. Okay, so bolts are out. There was four bolts here. Now we're going to work on the, this is what, um, a T40, Torx 40. There's two bolts that we're going to work on. Pulling out. should be out. All right, there we go. So that's out. Here are the bolts. T40. Try to keep everything together so you don't lose anything. All right, so uh, I missed a couple of uh, bolts. There was a bolt right here, uh, and there was a bolt on the bottom right here that I forgot to take out. So you have, again, going back, you don't have to take the handle out. I think you can probably leave that in there. Um, but probably okay to take it out. So you have, again, one bolt, two bolts, three, four, five, and then a sixth one underneath. So it's six is what you're looking for. So once all of those are out, you have this black vent here that you need to wiggle out. That's what it looks like. It's got... A little L in the back, and there's probably tabs on the inside. Be careful with it, it's a little bit of a pain to pull it out. Okay, there you go, another part. And then, uh, what you're gonna do is I'll put the strap on here. You're gonna pull this back very carefully. You don't wanna break it. And hopefully this holds up. give yourself enough room to cut this. Okay, it's pretty tight right there. Um, okay, so what you're gonna do here, just to show you where you need to cut, there is a bracket, this bracket here, you wanna cut right next to it. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, can I get a light on? 
I'm gonna cut that right there. Right there is gonna be first cut. Second cut is going to be right here. And third cut underneath is going to be right here. So once you make those three cuts, and uh, I'll show you as I'm making them, once you make those three cuts, you'll be able to pull this right out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there and cut these two hoses, sorry, those two hoses, which is the intake and the out um, for the heater core. Um, and once those are cut and this is out, we should be able to slide the heater core right out and put the new one in there. And we can show you that process. Okay, so three cuts as we spoke about before. I made the two. There's one more that I need to make right here. Uh, if you can actually, if you have one of these, these are actually the best things to use. Uh, they're pretty quick, cutting through. Make sure you use a metal one, not a wood one, and you should be set to go. here. I believe they're both seven millimeter. Yes, they are. Okay, that one's out. One more, and the bracket should pop off. And again, this is not, this is just a support bracket for the, the front part of the dash. So, um, and if you cut it in those three places that we talked about, there it is there. Single cut, first cut, second cut, third cut, and uh, you should be good to go. And you can mount this back on, and then the dash gets screwed into this. So, no harm done there. Okay you have full access to the heater core. And I can actually see, let's see, is it leaking? No, it's actually not leaking, but um, it will need to be cut. Now, once we cut it, there's gonna be water in there um, and that water is gonna ooze out. So what we're going to do is get a garbage bag to make sure that we can capture as much of the water as possible, that coolant, um, and then we're going to replace it with a new one. Uh, after we cut it. Um, see if I can show you a little closer. We're going to cut it right here and right here. Okay, so what we got to do now is cut these two intake and outtake pipes um, for the heater core. We're going to cut them right about here and right about there. Now when you cut it, Make sure you cut it in a place where uh, it's pretty straight because you're going to be putting a 5 8 uh, heat resistant uh, hose on there uh, for the new one. So what you wanna do is cut in a straight part, not on a crooked part, because uh, that could cause leaks. Okay, so we're gonna cut and we'll be back. Okay, well, here we go. Cut two places, there and there. And then all you have to do is just slide this out. Here's the heater core. Okay, time for the new one. All right, so here we go. Here is the final product. The new heater core is in there. Spliced in 5 8 pipe with 5 8 to 7 8 clamps. Put in there, slid in, fits perfectly. Make sure it's nowhere near this white wheel. That's what opens and closes your 
uh, vents. Um, and then really putting it back together is just a reverse of what we already did. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Oh, and don't forget to, um, don't forget to um, um, take the air out of your cooling system. Uh, that's important so that you don't have any air in there. Um, so that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please press like and subscribe. Um, and I'll have more videos coming up in the future.